Hi friends, welcome to OFA Studies YouTube channel. This is part 4 in Kushto playlist, Kushto query language playlist actually. So in this video, we are going to discuss about alias statement in Kushto query language. So please watch my Azure Data Explorer playlist and also previous videos of Kushto. I have created three videos before this video. So please watch them in the same order so that you will get most out of it. All the videos in my playlist are in a sequence order. So let's focus on what is alias statement and how to use it in Kushto query language using an example. So this alias statement actually allows you to define alias for a database. For example, if you have a database and you want to define an alias name for it, which can be used later in the same query, then you can go ahead and use this alias statement. The syntax, uh, if it is not making sense, don't worry. When I show example, you will get more detailed idea. So the syntax will be something like this alias database, then the alias name of the database, whatever you want to give, then the actual database you have to point using this cluster dot database syntax. This we have discussed in our previous video as well. Then once you have your alias name, you can directly use that alias name here. For example, here we created an alias name called sample aliases for this database under this cluster. And next time we are directly pointing with to database using that alias and then pointing to a table in that database. Let me practically show you so that you will get most out of it or you will get a more sense of it. So this is my Kushto Explorer. If you have seen my previous videos, you know how to download it. It's a desktop application. So here under connections, when I hit this plus symbol here, this will create a new connection. So let me hit this plus symbol here and let's try to create a connection for a new cluster. So if you have seen my data, Azure Data Explorer videos or Kusto previous videos, you know there is something called help cluster which will be under https dot help dot kusto dot windows dot net url so this will give you one help cluster which anyone can use to explore so i am connecting to this cluster let me hit ok and this will connect to the help cluster if you see here you can see i connected to help cluster here successfully and if i open this you can see there are so many databases and under sample database under tables i have a table called Storm events under this Storm events folder. So this Storm events table actually contains Storm events related information for every state. This you know already from my previous videos. So let me do one thing. So I added a connection and here let's navigate to home and under home menu there is something called new tab menu. So let's click this new tab to create a new query window here actually. So let me hit this new tab here and this creates a new query window here as you can see and here for example if you want to access any table whatever do this is a, your cluster right click this cluster and you can see right now it's pointed to uh, help cluster and uh, it's pointed to a database called Kuntoso sales it is not pointing to sample database okay but Using database syntax, you can make sure where your scope should be pointed and you can execute or you can take tables from that database and you can execute it. So remember thus, right now we are pointing to the Kuntoso sales cluster, uh, database under help cluster. But I want to point to this samples database under which I have this Tram events table. I want to take count of rows from that table. So what I can do here, I can use this database syntax and to the database syntax function here, we have to pass our database name. What is our database name? Samples. So what I can do? Samples. Then in this database dot, take this strom events table and get count. Okay. So this count operator gives us count of rows basically. So when my cousin is here, already it is light blue highlighted. You can observe that. So let me hit this run button to run this query and the when query executes, you can see the results. We have totally 
59,066 rows. So that means I am able to successfully connect to this database and able to take some table out of it and apply some operators on top of it. Similarly, do I need to always use this name or maybe for some reason I don't want to use this name and I want to use some alias name in my queries. In this case, what you can do, you can use this alias syntax. So let me do this control Z and here write alias. Okay. And then so if you see the syntax alias then database. Okay. Alias then database and then give a alias name for your database. So maybe I want to call it like a demo DB. Okay. Equals to then cluster. Then which cluster it is? It is help cluster. You can see. Uh, my cluster name here is help cluster. So let me use help cluster and then dot. I want to take a database. Which database? Samples database. Okay. So let me use my database name. So I am creating a alias name called demo name demo db for this samples uh, database. And then once that alias name created, use the same database syntax as above here. And uh, this time I will be calling my database with demo db because I gave this alias name. Then from this database, take stram events table and get count of it. And when I hit this run button now, I should see the same result 559,066 rows. And I am able to take this table from this demo db and which is the alias name of samples database. Not only that, for some reason, if you want to give alias name with some spaces, you can use this curly braces and then here I can use something like this. So let me use demo space db. So here I can use the same thing demo db as a name here. Now when you use spaces, make sure you use this angular brackets. And now let me hit this run button to execute this code and we will see the same result again. So like this, Alias statement will actually help you to give alias names for your databases. I hope you got an idea how to use this alias statement. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.